Dividing large words into syllables is a strategy we teach students so they can successfully read large words one syllable at a time. In this Tools in 10, I will go over the first two syllable patterns and how to divide them. After that, I will demonstrate how to divide a few three syllable words that have more than one type of syllable pattern in them. Feel free to grab a pencil and paper and you can practice along with me. I will be referring to this syllable division guide for reading. The link is at the top. You can print it out if you don't already have one and use it as we practice some words. This guide lists the syllable patterns in the order that they are taught in the program, the page number of the lesson, specific notes for that particular pattern, examples of words and how to mark and divide them, and a how-to column with step-by-step -step directions. VCCV pattern is the first and simplest syllable pattern that we teach children. A VCCV pattern creates two closed syllables. Closed syllables have a short vowel sound. Dividing words with VCCV patterns just takes three steps. Mark the vowels. Mark the consonants in between the vowels. Note that we don't mark all of the consonants, just the ones in between the vowels. Divide between the consonants. So what happens when you have more than two consonants between the vowels? Many times you may have three or more consonants in between vowels. The difference is that we will look for consonant blends and other chunks from the charts that would stay together. We have our blends chart that lists all of our two-letter and three-letter consonant blends and the H brothers. On the first and second charts, we have chunks that make one sound, such as ing, ang, ong, ong, ink, ank, onk, onk. And we also have CK, TCH, and DGE, which often stay together. We keep those blends and chunks together and divide either before or after, depending on if it is a beginning blend or an ending blend or chunk. So the steps are mark the vowels, mark the consonants in between the vowels, look for consonant blends or other chunks from the charts that may stay together and underline them. Then divide between the consonants you underlined and the other consonant so you have two closed syllables. Let's take a look at some examples. The word hundred has a beginning blend dr, so we will keep that together and divide before it. The word ringlet has an ing chunk that stays together. That is an ending chunk, so we will divide after it. The word withheld has an H brother TH. So we will underline that and keep it together and then divide after it, creating two closed syllables. Now, sometimes there are four consonants between the vowels, or maybe even five. When this happens, look for two or three letter blends from the charts. Three letter blends can stay together, but they don't always. In the word construct, STR is a three-letter blend that can stay together. We would divide before it since it is a beginning blend. In the word sandstone, we see ST as a beginning blend that we will keep together and divide before it. Also note that we marked the silent E as a vowel, which you can do, but always analyze the final E to determine if it is silent or a talking vowel. If it is a silent E, as it is most of the time, we don't have to mark the consonants in between because a silent E does not add another syllable. Remember that all syllables have a talking vowel. You can have the child draw the arc from the E to the vowel that it is controlling. Now let's look at some examples of three syllable words that have a combination of these syllable patterns. When you are dividing words that have three or more syllables, the key is to work between two vowels at a time. Let me show you. So my first word, I'm going to first mark all of my vowels. And here I have an E at the end, so I want to analyze it. 
is it a talking E or is it a silent E? And it looks like it's jumping. So I'm going to say it's a silent E. Now I'm going to mark my consonants in between my vowels. And I'm going to work between two vowels at a time. I'm going to look at my pattern. I see a VCCV pattern. And I know that when I see this kind of a pattern, we divide right between the two consonants, creating a closed syllable here. My next two vowels, I see three consonants. And when I have three consonants, it means I need to look for beginning blends. I see a TR, that's a beginning blend. So I'm going to underline that and keep that together and then divide right before it because TR is a beginning blend. Now I'm going to read each of the syllables. This is a closed syllable, ill. This is also closed, lus. And this is a vowel consonant E, trait. Ill, lus, trait. Ill, lus, trait. That's a word that I'm familiar with that's in my oral vocabulary. My next word, I'm going to mark my vowels. I'm going to mark my consonants in between. And now I'm going to work between two vowels at a time. So between these two vowels, I see four consonants. So there might be a three-letter blend. And I do see a three-letter blend right here, S-T-R. Let's underline that and keep that together. S-T-R is a beginning blend, so I'm going to divide here. And that creates a closed vowel or closed syllable. Now I see VCCV pattern. And when I see this kind of a pattern, I know to divide right between the two consonants. And now I'm going to read my word in structor. Instructor. Instructor. And that is a word that I've heard in my oral vocabulary. I know that OR at the end of two or three syllable words can say er, instructor. My final word, I'm going to mark my vowels. And here, Y is a vowel. I will mark my consonants in between. And now I'm going to work between those two vowels at a time. Here, I see three consonants. So that means I'm going to look for blends or other chunks. Now, I know KR is not a blend. I know CR is a blend, but KR isn't. So maybe there's another chunk that I need to keep together. A and K is on my chart. So let's keep that chunk together. And I'm going to divide after because that's an ending chunk. And now I see a VCCCV pattern, which means, again, I need to look for blends or chunks that we keep together. Here I don't see any beginning blends. So maybe there are some ending blends that we keep together. So if you don't see a beginning blend, look for an ending blend. And I see PT, which I know is an ending blend. I'll keep that together and divide after. And now I'm going to read my word. Bank, rupt, C. Bankruptcy. And that is a word that I've heard in my oral language.